I'm here to do my question and answers video. I actually thought I would only get about two questions, but a whole bunch of you wrote to me, so thank you so much for your questions. So the first set of questions are from Elizabeth Ann, and she wanted to know where am I from? So I live in Perth in Australia, but I was born in England and we moved to Australia when I was eight years old, so I've been here for a long time. I also wanted to know what my gold jean size is. So my gold jean size is probably a size eight in Australian clothing, which is equivalent to about a size four in US clothes. She also asked what is my non-scale gold Victory. Most of you know I got married in Hawaii and um, we stayed at a beautiful hotel and they had this amazing pool and I really really wanted to go in the pool but um, I just felt so self-conscious that I never stepped one foot in the pool and just because I don't know I, I felt like people would judge me which is silly now that I think about it but back then it was like a real fear well not fear it was just like a real how I was feeling at the time. So one of my non-scale goals is to be able to wear a nice swimsuit and just go in that pool and just like spend half the day sitting around the pool and going in and out of the pool and not feeling self-conscious at all. So that's probably my biggest non-scale goal. She also wanted to know, um, do I prefer kilograms versus pounds? So in Australia, we usually go by kilograms and all the scales um, here are set in kilograms. So I just find it easier to um, go with kilograms rather than pounds. The next question is from Kirsty and she said, what made you start a YouTube channel? Basically, I did it just to keep myself accountable. I knew if I had to weigh in every week, it would just keep me motivated and um, you know, just getting a little bit of support from other people as well. I thought that would keep me motivated as well. So basically, it was just to keep me accountable and to, to help motivate me. The next question is from Sully100-2002. She says, what do I do for work? So I actually work in a bakery part-time, but the way I'm looking at it is if I can lose weight while working in a bakery surrounded by lovely smelling bread and cakes and pies and pasties, anybody can lose weight so that's what I do um, casually. I only do about 15 hours a week there and then I also have two online businesses that I run. I have a clip-in hair extension business and I also have a um, temporary metallic tattoo business as well so they, those two things keep me busy. Sally also wanted to know what kind of music do I like or kinds of music. It just really depends on what type of mood I'm in. If I'm into like a relaxing mood or I'm cooking or something, I like to listen to like the oldies music, like Aretha Franklin and, and things like that. I just find it very relaxing. And if I'm just in like a general mood, I like to listen to um, music that's kind of like in the charts at the moment. So yeah, I kind of like most type of music. I'm not really into like headbanging music. Next question is from Melissa. She says, how did you and your husband meet? Me and my husband actually met online. He is originally from Canada, so he moved over from Canada um, to do some work over here. Uh, and it was supposed to be a temporary thing. And of course, he didn't really have any friends here or know anybody. So he was online just generally trying to meet people. And I was online trying to meet people as well. And we just kind of clicked. We ended up talking online for a while, I think about two months, and then he called me and we talked on the phone for a long time. I think it was a good like nine months and he kept bugging me. He's like, please meet me. And of course I was self-conscious and I was like, what about if he doesn't like me? Because we, we hadn't seen what each other looked like for nine months. We just, we just talked on the phone. And then we met in person and everything was good. We, you know, still clicked and we ended up getting married, I think it was about six years later. And I believe we've been together for about 11 or 12 years now, so online dating does work. But definitely be careful because there's so many weirdos out there. Oh, also he ended up permanently living in Australia, he never ended up going back to Canada. So I worked my magic on him. <laughs> Next question is from... Mary, how much weight have you lost so far and how much would you like to lose? So, so far I've lost just over 18 kilos which is around 40 pounds and I would love to lose another 40 kilos um, which is around about 80 pounds which sounds 
like a lot of weight but I'm trying not to look at the bigger picture I'm just taking it kind of kilo by kilo the next question is from Roxana when did you know you would marry your husband? That's a good question, Roxana. He has all the qualities that I wanted in a guy. He is so, so supportive. He's goofy. He makes me laugh. Um, we just always have a good time together. All my family and friends love him. So I think all of those things combined just made me know, know that he was a good guy and that I wanted to marry him. Next question is from Shanae. I think that's how you pronounce it. What's your favourite naughty food that you miss eating? I try not to deprive myself of anything. So once in a while I'll have a cheat day and I'll have something that I'm craving. One thing that I really do miss eating is garlic bread, which is really weird. Um, but garlic bread is so bad for you. It's like full of carbs and then especially when you order it at restaurants, they like pile on the garlic butter, but it tastes so good. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I do really, really miss garlic bread. I actually haven't had garlic bread for a long time. Next question is from Downsizing Nick. She asks, what are your favorite things that you own? I have a few things, probably um, my car. I love my car. Uh, my cats, they're my little babies. I would do anything for them. Also my um, rings, my wedding ring and my engagement ring. I love those and also I'm a huge like designer bag freak <laughs> so I have a Louis Vuitton bag and a Louis Vuitton uh, purse and a Louis Vuitton agenda so I'm obsessed with them. Next question is from Tilly. She says what is your favourite meal to cook? My favourite meal to cook at the moment is probably like a chicken curry um, and it's so easy to make. You just get some green curry paste, um, fry it in a little bit of oil, then some coconut milk and water. You just pour that into the pan, um, then add your chicken breast and maybe some like green beans and capsicum and just boil it all up for until the chicken and veggies are cooked. Um, and then I serve it on some cauliflower rice rather than regular rice because regular rice is very high in carbs which I'm trying to minimize and yeah I just think that's like a really easy meal to cook and it just tastes really good. Next question is from Last Contagious Victim. <laughs> I like your username. She says what do I do for work which I already answered. How did you and your husband meet <laughs> which I already answered and when did you realize you needed to lose weight and what did you do? Basically I've been overweight all my life probably since I was probably since I was like 10. So I have been on every single diet that um, ever existed and yeah there wasn't a point where I thought okay I need to lose weight because I've just constantly been on a diet. So I basically just figured out what diets, I hate saying diets, I figured out what foods would work for me to help me lose weight. I knew that eating low carb and low sugar worked for me and that's just what I've been doing. Also writing goals down and like motivations and things that has really kept me on track as well. Next question is from Binza. She says, how do you know what to eat every day? Do you follow like an established meal plan or do you create your own meals? Like I said before, I don't really follow um, an established meal plan. I just, because I've been on so many diets, I just know what works for me in order for me to lose weight. So every Sunday I just sit down and write my meal plan for the, for the week and um, just make sure that it's low carb, low sugar and I just follow that as strictly as I can. And the weight just seems to come off. Vet <laughs> Claire, she says, what do I do for work? Which I already answered. What are your hobbies? My number one hobby is YouTube. I really enjoy making videos for you all and I enjoy reading all your comments. So that's my number one hobby. And like I mentioned before, I also have two online businesses. So they keep me relatively busy as well. She also says, What's, what is the number one reason you want to lose weight? The number one reason is probably to have a baby. Um, when you're overweight and pregnant, you kind of have an uh, increased chance of health risks and you're more likely to miscarriage um, and it can also um, put the baby under some health risks as well. So I'm just trying to get my weight down to a healthy weight. 
I believe my doctor said 80 kilos is a relatively good weight to start trying for a baby. So I've still got a little way to go, but that's probably my number one reason is to have a baby. She also said, what keeps you what keeps you motivated even after minor setbacks? Definitely wearing a swimsuit next time I go to Hawaii. Um, having a baby. Also comparing before and after pictures. I have a whole bunch of pictures of when I was overweight and I regularly kind of take pictures now of my face and my body. And just comparing those two, that is a huge, huge motivational boost just to see how, how much your body's changing. So um, they're the three things that definitely motivate me the most. She also asks, if you could have one unhealthy meal and one healthy meal for the rest of your life, which would they be? Be specific. That's a really good question. For my healthy meal, it would probably be like a big, huge chicken salad. That way I'm getting protein and I'm getting greens. Um, yeah, just a big salad with like cucumber and capsicum and a nice dressing. And yeah, that's probably my healthy meal. And then my unhealthy meal, would probably be a big chicken burger. I think I've mentioned to you guys there's a really nice burger place um, near my house called Grilled and um, yeah they do amazing burgers. They, they say they're healthy which they are like they cut all the fat off them and everything um, but yeah they just taste so good so that would be my unhealthy meal if I had to live on it for the rest of my life a big chicken burger and chips. <laughs> she also says what mu what movies and music do I like? So I answered the music already for movies. I kind of like a whole bunch of movies. One of my favorite movies ever is probably Monsters Inc. That's <laughs> such a cute movie. I love that one. I also really enjoy it, enjoyed The Devil Wears Prada. Um, Taken, that was a really good movie. So yeah, I like a whole bunch of mo movies in general. The last question that she wanted to know is where do I dream of traveling? I really, really, really want to go to Paris one day. I just want to just go see the Eiffel Tower and I really want to sit outside of a cute little cafe and have like a chocolate croissant and a macaron and a nice coffee and just kind of watch the world go by. That's definitely on my bucket list to go to Paris one day. Next questions are from Nizzy Wizzy. She says, how did you start your weight loss journey? Did something trigger it off? I think I answered that one before. Yeah, just I've always been on a diet. I started a while ago because I wanted to look amazing in my wedding dress when we got married. Um, another time was because I wanted to um, look good when I went hol on holiday. So yeah, just like little main events that have happened in my life kind of triggered me to start losing weight. But I, I feel like I've just been on a diet all my life. So um, yeah. She also asked, do I meal prep and would I consider doing a meal prep video? I don't really meal prep for like a whole week. I do meal plan though. So like I mentioned, I sit down on Sunday and write down all my meals for the week. When I am working, I have to usually have to be at work for 6 a.m. So the night before I do prep my meal then, I'll make like a big salad um, the night before and just pop it in the fridge and I'll have all my snacks ready for the day. Um, so I do prep then, but in general, I, I don't prep for every day. She also wanted to know, say you're in a hurry, what's your quick go-to healthy meal? Probably a tuna salad, because it's so easy. I buy the pre-packed um, bags of mixed lettuce, so I just pour some onto a plate, put a little bit of dressing, chop up a cucumber, some onion, pour a tin of tuna on top, and it takes me about four minutes. And um, yeah, that's probably my go-to healthy meal. Nizzy also asks, I'm a big Diet Coke drinker. How did you quit? Was it cold turkey? Yes, it was cold turkey. On the 1st of January of this year, I gave myself a goal not to drink any Diet Coke for the whole month of January. Um, and I just kind of went cold turkey. I just had lots and lots of water instead of Diet Coke and I had cups of tea to start with. It was very, very challenging because I was used to having at least like two to three cans of Coke a day. Um, but I did it for the whole month and now we're in July and I still haven't had a Diet Coke or like diet soda or any diet soft drinks whatsoever. So 
I just kind of followed it along. When Janu January ended, I said, okay, let's just see if I can go for another month. And I did it, and then I did the same for another month. And now I don't even think about Diet Coke. When I go to the shops, I'm looking for a drink. I don't even go near the Diet Coke. I just go straight for the bottles of water, which I'm very, very proud of. So yes, I did go cold turkey, and I definitely recommend trying that for yourself. Just give yourself a goal of like, two weeks even say okay for two weeks I'm gonna go for water have no diet soft drink and then just keep trying to carry it along and I promise if you try and do that for at least four months diet coke won't even tempt you. Lizzie also wanted to know what's your go-to meal if you go to McDonald's McDonald's. I haven't had a McDonald's for ages. If I was to go to McDonald's I'd probably have like a chicken wrap. Lastly what does your hobby what does your hubby think about you making videos? Does he know how you're inspiring many people? <laughs> My husband, he is so supportive of me making these videos. Once in a while we'll sit down together and read through all the comments that you guys have left. I keep trying to get him to be involved in my vlogs a little bit, but he's just very shy, so um, yeah, maybe one day he'll be on a vlog. <laughs> Next question is from Fitastic Life. She says, did you go to college and what did you study? No, I didn't actually go to college. I went to high school and then I got a job straight out of high school, so no college for me. Uh, what type of music do you listen to when you work out? I don't know if many of you have heard about Spotify, but it's like a streaming music app. So I have a playlist on Spotify that I listen to when I'm at the gym. And I have some Nicki Minaj, Beyonce, Flo Rida, David Guetta. Guetta? can never say his name. Um, so yeah, just a whole bunch of random music that's kind of upbeat and, you know, gets me in, in a good frame of mind. <laughs> she also wanted to know what inspired you to start making YouTube videos. I already answered that one. <laughs> have you ever taken workout classes and which ones if you have? I haven't taken any classes, no. But I really would like to take a Zumba class. Um, they look like a lot of fun, so maybe one day I will try a Zumba class. And the last question she wanted to know, what keeps you motivated to stay focused on your weight loss journey? I think I already answered that one, so we'll keep moving along. Next one is from Rebecca. She says, what items slash apps slash gadgets have helped you the most on your fitness journey? One thing that I love is my little Fitbit. I don't wear it every day. Um, which I probably should, but I love it just because it tracks your calories and how many steps you do. So if it comes to like five o'clock and you're sitting on the couch and you have a look at your Fitbit and it says you've only done like 8,000 steps, it's kind of good because it, it you know that you have to get up and do a little bit of walking around just to get to your 10,000 steps. So. Um, the Fitbit, that's definitely helped. Also Spotify, like I mentioned before. I like Spotify because you can create playlists um, and it's good for when I'm at the gym. Another thing that I find really helpful is my little weight loss journal that I keep in my little um, agenda. And in my journal I have like a um, my weight loss tracker so I can track um, how much weight I've lost. I also have my measurements, I have all my goals, uh, rewards, motivations. I have my meal planner in there, my favourite recipes, some quotes that um, kind of motivate me. So yeah, definitely using my weight loss journal has helped a lot. And because my weight loss journal has helped me so much, I'm actually working on um, making a weight loss journal for you guys that you can print out and put into your, into your journals or make a separate binder for. And I I just honestly think it will help so many people because it just keeps you motivated. It's just nice to use as like a reference so if you're having a down day you can just go have a look in your weight loss journal um, just for a little bit of motivation, inspiration, see how far you've come. If you don't know what to cook on a certain day you can just go check what your favourite meals are that you've written down or you could do your meal plan and that helps immensely so I'll let you know when they are all ready to go. It should be in a couple more weeks. There's a few things that have definitely helped me on my weight loss journey so far. And the last few questions are from Alana. What do you find hardest about sticking to a low carb diet? Probably not eating bread. Some days I would just really enjoy a nice bread roll with butter just to have with my salad. Probably the hardest thing is, is not eating bread. Some mornings I have like one slice of toast for breakfast with egg. Um, 
but during the day yeah sometimes I definitely crave a little bit of bread <laughs> and she also asks do you have a goal weight slash clothes size you would like to get to or are you not focused on a particular number I do have a goal weight it is 55 kilos um, which is 120 pounds and that is I think perfect for my height because I'm pretty short I'm only five foot three and my goal clothes size is a size 8 which is a size four in us so they're all the questions that you guys wrote in I hope you really enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up if you did and i will see you all again really soon